What is your favorite TV show? Well, that depends on the genre. Oh my God, here we go. Mm -hmm. Good morning, campers! This is my cooking buddy today. We are making dinner. Harrison just got up from a nap. Well, probably like 30 minutes ago. So far we have gone downstairs and put his clothes in the dryer. Right? We've been practicing our flippies in the living room. And now he just helped me shake up our protein for tonight. We are having breaded pork chops. A staple in this house that I'm not sick of yet. Harrison really likes them. Just shake and bake pork chops. They're uh, pork sirloin chops because we were doing, there we go, we were doing bone in pork chops, which I really like, but cutting around the bone is kind of, you know. So, got some boneless meats today. It's a little bit easier to cut for this guy. Yeah. They're not cooked yet, son. We have to cook them. And he won't let me put them down, so uh, we've had to do everything with one hand. It's been really fun. Um, I he was he was watching Zumbo's Just Desserts and practicing his flippies. Come on, bud. I know. So I didn't have him in the Anzuhimo, but he came out here and wanted up. So don't climb on that. It's hot. It's hot. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's hot. Thank you. Whoa. So while the oven is preheating, let's come back out here. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna turn that off, but. I asked some of you on Instagram, um, if you guys follow my stories, I'm trying to be a little bit more interactive with you. Sometimes I'll ask questions and answer them in the stories. Um, but I asked you guys to ask me questions that I'll answer on the vlog today. So at some point, I'm going to have to answer those questions. Um, last I looked, there were only like six, so I'm waiting for a few more to trickle in. But the questions look pretty good so far. I'm excited to answer them. Um, yeah. I'm getting out of breath because Harrison is heavy. You're heavy, buddy. What do you see? Do you see a cup? Do you want to get some water? What do you see? Lola. You want your cup? Yeah? Well, what do you see? Grab your cup. Grab it. That's not a cup. That's a bowl. A bowl. A bowl. That's a cup. There we go. You want to put some water in it? Hi. Hi. Yeah, put some water in it. Good job. Now take a sip. Oh, oh. Well, I guess I better go clean that up. I just checked Instagram and I apparently have more questions than I thought. Uh, so I actually have enough to answer. Hold on, let me adjust this just a little bit. That's there. I guess that really didn't do anything. Anyways, um, while I'm answering these questions, I'm going to be cutting up some broccoli for dinner, just so you guys know. But um, yeah, I have a ton of questions now, and I don't even know if I can answer them all. And the ones that come in after I film this, I will try to save for another Q&A or I'll try to respond to you. And I will try to not leave your questions unanswered. It's okay? Is that a deal? I hope so. There. I want you guys to see my face nice and clearly. Let me pull these questions up real quick here. Question number one. Again, I'm gonna be cutting up some broccoli so I might not be looking at you the whole time but I'm definitely going to be chit-chatting. So question number one is, do you want any more tattoos? I currently have two tattoos. I have one on my foot 
and I have one on my arm, which I believe another question asks, what is the tattoo on the inside of your arm? So I'll show you guys this one. It's a peace dove, and it spells out peace. I'll point with my, with my knife. This is a P right here, and then E-A-C-E. -E. You guys see that? Peace. I designed it myself. Um, so, go, going back to the question, do I want any more tattoos? I don't really think so. Um, if I ever did get another tattoo, it might be to do something in honor of Harrison, or if we were to have any more children in the future, to honor them as well. But, I think that I'm pretty much set on tattoos. I think I've outgrown that part of my life where, you know, I was obsessed with them and wanted a bunch and now I'm just happy with the way that I am. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, I would, but I'm not like itching to go out and get another tattoo. You know what I mean? So that the tattoo on the inside of my arm is a piece of, I got it because for a long time growing up, I really was not at peace with myself. I didn't like things about myself. Like I didn't like my body. And you know, I think that everybody goes through a phase like that where there's something that they are struggling with about themselves. And I drew up the tattoo and I thought to myself, you know, when I am finally at peace with who I am and and things like that, I'll get it. And I finally, it was in 2011, I think, or 2010, I don't know, it was a long time ago. Actually still looks good for being that old. Uh, I went and I was visiting a friend and she took me to her tattoo artist and I was like, now is the time. I love me and, you know, I am who I am, so I'm gonna get it. Uh, next question. What is your, both of you, favorite go-to breakfast food? Well, I would have to say that Tiffany's favorite breakfast food is probably, well, she loves Tony's breakfast. But I would say French toast for her. I wanna say pancakes for her, but I don't make good pancakes. Um, I make okay pancakes, but they're like, mine are really cakey and not airy and light. So I would say Tiffany, her favorite go-to breakfast is French toast. And mine is, I would say mine is pancakes. I love blueberry pancakes. I love pancakes with blueberry sauce on top of them, but I don't like the whipped cream. I don't need the whipped cream. So. Can you both be my BFFs? Sure. Can never have too many friends. Have you seen the show Signing Time? It's awesome for teaching kids ASL. I have not seen that show actually and I had not heard about it until you suggested that. So I will definitely be looking it up. Um, Harrison knows quite a few signs and you know, we're always looking for more to teach him. So oof, don't splatter me. I'm just tossing the broccoli into the boiling water now. Um, and I hope that he continues, you know, cause sometimes kids learn things and as they grow, they forget about it. I hope that knowing a few signs is something that stays with Harrison as he gets older. Um, you know, I know the basics that we teach Harrison and I also know the alphabet in sign language. So I, you know, I'm not super versed in it, but if there was ever someone who came up to me and I needed to communicate with them. I could slowly, but you know, surely figure it out. We'd have to spell everything, but that's, you know, at least I'd be able to communicate with them. So thank you for that suggestion. I will definitely look it up. And I guess if you guys have never heard of the show, signing time, there you go. Is, did you have postpartum depression after you had Harrison? And my answer to that is no, I did not have postpartum depression. Um, 
I mean, your body is changing a lot after you have, give birth and you're going through a lot of hormonal changes and physical changes. Your body is trying to heal. So there's definitely a lot of feelings after you give birth. Um, I had a pretty traumatic postpartum experience. <laughs> Someone's at the door. Let's see who it is. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, I was doing that so Harrison would come to the door. Oh, he's watching Toy Story. Because oh. I'm making dinner. So, you just got into the middle of a Q&A session that I'm having. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a Q&A. A live? No, that's for the vlog. You're cooking? Cooking and, and doing. And doing a Q&A? Mm-hmm. What's gotten into you today? Well, I know that you're really busy tonight, so I'm trying to mix things up. So the question that I'm answering currently is, did I have postpartum depression after I had Harrison? <laughs> what would you say? I would say... You think I did? A little. I would say that I had, I just was getting to this, but I would say that I had postpartum anxiety. Which, uh, anxiety and depression are very um, partnered. Mm -hmm. um, I think that there were points where you could have either maybe had both. It's not really up for me like to decide what mm -hmm. you had. Yeah. I saw elements of both for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely had some of both. Yeah. Also, so maybe maybe I thought you did because I did. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, when I think of postpartum depression, I think of uh, I think of it being more debilitating uh -huh. than you know how you mm -hmm. were acting. So yeah. I think there's like levels to it. Yeah. yeah. So I was going to say. Ooh, here we go. Um. I was going to say, I was very emotional after Harrison's birth. My postpartum experience was very traumatic. Um, Especially I, with that catheter. Yeah, they, they tried to do a catheter on me. It was very painful. I sobbed. Tiffany had never seen me like so crazy before. I was like, I'm not getting a catheter. I finally went to the bathroom, so Wait, I didn't have to get it. Imagine though you like finally getting sleep after hours. <laughs> and this isn't even on me because you had just given birth to our boy. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you had just told me, okay, please lay down for a little while. I lay down and I'm dreaming of lollipops and sugar land and you're over top of me going, Tiffany, you gotta get help me, me. Pee. <laughs> help me. And I'm like, what? My tailbone like uh, hurt excruciatingly. You know, and not only that first night after giving birth to Harrison, like, breastfeeding was not easy. It was a, a hurdle that I had to cross, you know? And, um... Definitely not as easy as they make it look on TV. And I think that the treatment of women after they give birth is lacking in our healthcare system. Hi, and I will boy. say that. Uh, I think that... I know that doctors and nurses they have a lot going on and you know i appreciate them tremendously without them i wouldn't be here right now let's be honest i would have died giving birth to harrison but i think that someone along the line could at least like check up earlier than six weeks with women because <laughs> i was miserable downstairs for uh quite some time and like i went after one week to get checked out but then after that i had to wait till six weeks and it was just oh i overcooked my broccoli that's all i'm gonna say on that um but i don't think that i had postpartum depression i think i had postpartum anxiety i was very hesitant to leave harrison even for a few minutes while I was taking a shower, but that's because every time I went to take a shower, Harrison would get hungry and cry. So it was kind of like, it's just a whole mixed bag of emotions. You know what I mean? So, whew, that was a long segment. 
I gotta dump this broccoli and I'll get back to you with more questions. Question. Just wanna say hi, love you guys. Love you too. Um, you are handling momhood like a boss, no question. I love how you let H explore. Thank Who's you. That? Mom to four ladybugs. Oh, it's very nice. What is your favorite thing to bake? I would say my favorite thing to bake is cupcakes. I don't make them very often, but they cool very fast. So you can frost them. They frost very fast when you've got a piping bag. What do you need, sweetie? A cup and everything. Your cup is over here. And they're very fun to eat. So I would say cupcakes. Have you ever thought about taking your art to the next stage? I, I get it. And that one, that question surprised me. I actually had to reach out to the person who asked it, and they said, "Have you ever thought about like um, doing art for a children's book or something?" And I was like, "Wow, thank you. That is really nice." I we thought about doing a children's book once, but <clears throat> never really got around to it. So maybe someday in the future, when I get a little bit of time, I think we're still thinking about it. it. Yeah, we are still thinking yeah. about it. It just it's gonna take some time to do. Right? If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Who would you take? Well, I would definitely take my family. And I don't know where I would go. I used to want to go to Spain, but lately, pretty much ever since having Harrison, I really wanted to go somewhere tropical because, I don't know, I just, when people go on vacation in the winter and you see the beach waves and the warm weather and the palm trees I get so so jealous I'm probably a little bit sad I think because when you and Harrison everybody was putting the toes in the the water photos up hot dog you legs couldn't, you couldn't go yes and so I think you have a little um like a little issue with that because you <laughs> not that you really couldn't go you just you didn't want to go you didn't want to take Harrison outside like that right and be there, so I think you were really missing out, and you're still missing out on it. Yeah, I think you're right. Who watches Harrison while I'm at work? Well, a majority of the time, it's my mom. She's been very, very helpful when it comes to watching Harrison. Um, a couple of times in a pinch, my siblings, or I've had a friend or two watch Harrison, but 99% of the time, it's been my mom. So, thanks, mom. Harrison loves grandma. He loves Grammy too. We call her every day. Did I ever fight with my siblings when I was younger? Yes, absolutely. As the oldest child, I felt the need to <laughs> boss them around and act like their mother, which they did not uh, appreciate. Um, my, younger, my youngest sibling often called my mom at work to rat us out, rat me out. He locked you guys out. He did, he locked, Ryan. it was Ryan. I was trying not to, oh. <laughs> to say who it was, but it was Ryan. Story. Uh Yeah, Ryan used to lock us out of the house, so. Yeah, more than <clears throat> once, it's like, how'd you guys do that? You know, we, we played well, but we also fought. It, it happens, I think, in every family, especially with the more kids there are. Well, you guys get along great now, so we do get along I think great it was now. Worth it, yeah. Okay. We definitely didn't uh, grow up like Brittany and Rachel. <laughs> Brittany <laughs> grew up in fear of Rachel, but now they're the best friends, the best of friends. So, what is your favorite TV show? Well, that depends on the genre. Oh my God! Here we go. My favorite reality TV show is, you guessed it, Survivor. Hands mm -hmm. down. Um. Man, I don't know, my favorite food show, there's so many. I like all of the dessert shows, like Zumbo's Just Desserts. Season two is out now on Netflix and I'm so excited. But I also love MasterChef, I like Hell's Kitchen. I like MasterChef Junior, there's a lot. Drama show, Grey's Anatomy, This Is Us. Um, I do like, what's that one with The Good Doctor? I like that one. You're not really saying a favorite. You're just naming off a bunch of good shows. <laughs> well, I don't have a favorite. I think that um, if I my, can answer your favorite is Grey's Anatomy. 
maybe, but this is also so good. Mm. And then my fam favorite like comedy show, I guess you could call it. I would definitely say is Schitt's Creek right now. Oh, yeah. I saw a preview today for like the latest episode they put out. And it was one where David wets the bed and I cannot wait to watch it. It yeah. looks so funny. And Moira's like, David, did you have a nighttime oopsie daisy? <laughs> <laughs> that show is so funny. Go watch it. All right, well, that's all the questions I have. And Harrison needs a refill on his applesauce and pork chops. So, uh, thanks. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you later. We came to grandma's for a little while because uh, Tiffany has some stuff to do with her dissertation and it's just easier if we come and visit grandma, huh? Careful, bud. She's not gonna get you. Ready? One, two, three! Good. <laughs> Harrison is in love with Mabel. He loves throwing the frisbee. Oh, no, don't go in there, please. Yeah, let's not, let's not go in there. Yeah. Mabel. Mabel, sit. Sit. Here, bud. There you go. Ready? Can you throw it? In one, two, three. Good job, silly. Are you going to climb in the dog's cage? Oh, you're going to play with their toy? Ready? One, two, three. Good catch. Are you going in there? Are you going in the cage? It's going to be a little hairy. Yeah. You won't be able to stand up. There, okay. You want to shut the door? Help me! Can you pretend like you're a doggy? Say ruff ruff. <laughs> ruff ruff. Uh -huh. Where'd she go? I'm not gonna. Ruff ruff. Oh, hey, I got. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Are you gonna go in there with them? Go ahead, Mabel. Oh. You wanna stay in there? Okay. Hey. Oh, that was a loud bark. <laughs> knock knock, hello? power went out I ordered one of these um it's official Red Cross and I know people have like their 
their qualms with the Red, Claw, mm -hmm. Red Cross and stuff. But the radio, the, the flashlight's pretty legit. Mm. It's not a radio, I apologize. But anyway, it came already charged. That is bright. It's really bright. And it has a place for a USB and for a mini. Oh, nice. It clips here and listen to it. It's so easy to, I mean, it's difficult. You can feel it, Uh huh. but it's easy to get like a rhythm on like that little one that I was doing it with. I can do anything. No, that's, that's nice. Wow, that is bright. Put it somewhere you, where you remember, because the one I bought you before we lost. It's. I don't think we lost it. I think it's downstairs. We misplaced it. Yeah. So, wow, this is. It was. I wish I would have put up the link for other people because I was afraid I didn't know if it was gonna like be any good. Mm -hmm. But it was. It's normally twenty dollars, and it was like one of those limited time deals on Amazon. Oh. It was only seven ninety nine. You should have shared it. I should have. I always get worried about sharing stuff though because some like pages on Facebook all they do is share stuff and mm -hmm. you know and it's like here buy this buy this buy this and I didn't I one of the our big things was until we knew about the product unless it was like a sale of a hot right. toy I didn't want to like say like here I'm going to recommend this because right. I hadn't seen it yet. You don't want to recommend something you haven't used personally. Right but now it's not heavy um I mean maybe it's three in the pounds. Palm of your hand. Yeah. It's pretty like small, but that light is bright. It is. Like I am. It is. It's a bright light. You see is. that? I I saw Sorry. it. I flashed I'm just it right really in my excited eyeballs. That it's bright. <laughs> All right. Well, I have to get going. Ugh, I've got volleyball tonight. Is that what I look like? Yeah. I feel like a child with this thing on. Look at my slicked back pony. Do you guys see my silver streak? Aww. Mm, I, love I love you. Little man is at grandma's right now. They're watching yes. Toy Story 3. <laughs> <laughs> he just had that one on today, didn't he? Yeah, for a minute we did have it on. Okay. While I was cooking dinner, but dinner was really fast, so. Yeah. I'm glad he likes Toy Story, but... I do know more of it than I ever thought I would. I mean, I liked it. I had seen it a bunch, mm -hmm. but I wasn't waiting for things to fall in the background because I knew they were going to fall oh. or I knew there was going to be a scuff when they were fighting over the remote control. Like mm -hmm. I, I was waiting for the scuff <laughs> things that I hadn't paid attention to before. Mm -hmm. I like that there's a pretty large selection of videos because some kids only gravitate towards one thing like yeah sing oh yeah right? our friends with sing yeah and so at least we have four options plus there's there's short videos See, i mean and obviously he doesn't watch a lot of tv mm -hmm. but the fact that there are those mini shorts and just like itty bitty cartoons here and there and yeah. you know like he'll look at the tv you know, when we have Bob's Burgers on, which we have to be careful of other TV that we have on. Mm -hmm. Like, no more South Park for these gals. <laughs> no. Because I swear the other day I thought he said S-H-I-T. Oh, really? I don't think he did, but... We when don't he say that very right, often, so I don't know where he would pick it up. But I heard it, and I was like... What? Right. He didn't say that, did he? He did drop something, though. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, I, I don't even remember the last time I said that. Yeah, me either. Any other word, maybe. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Alright guys, well, thanks for hanging out with us today. And thanks for sharing us with your friends. And we'll catch you on the flippity.